Greetings, Internet people. You're tuned into the Keep It Real RN channel. My name is Craig, and I'll be your host. Now, today I come to you from deep within the bowels of Keep It Real RN Studios. This is where I do all my video editing. This is the control room. This is where it all gets put together. Out there, if you can see the window there, out there is where I have my little video studio set up. My white screen, the camera, my lights, and all of that. And that's where I did CV Surgeon Gone Wild and the What's in Your Nursing Bag video, if you've seen those. Now, I noticed that I have 124 subscribers, and I want to thank all of you for subscribing to Keep It Real RM. I plan on doing content on a regular basis here, and I just want to let you know what really drives me to do uh, videos is comments down in the comment section down below. So maybe I'm hoping that someday maybe we can get some kind of little community, a little discussion going on down in the comments there. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I've been a critical care nurse for a very, very long time. And... So I have a lot to share, and I'm going to make videos like this, where I'm going to be sharing my experience with you, and I'm hoping that as I go through my career timeline here, that uh, most of you will find something that you can identify with, something that might you might find valuable. I mean, my career started way, way, way back. I worked as a surgical orderly in the operating room right out of high school. That was where I got kind of turned on to uh, anything medicine, anything hospital, nursing. I would never have considered it if it wasn't for that. Uh, my five year, or four years, five years of pre-nursing and nursing school at the University of Minnesota. My first gig on the medical floor. Moving to cardiac step down and moving to San Diego where I started my critical care career. Um, I plan on telling you that story because that's a great story. It, it was an experience that was extremely enlightening and empowering where I either sold or gave away all my worldly possessions except for what would fit in my Nissan Sentra which was a small car, and uh, I headed out to California and started a new job. While I was out there, I met my wife, met who would, the uh, woman who would end up being my wife, and we did some travel nursing together. We ended up in South Florida, of all places, um, Never thought I'd ever end up in South Florida, ever. But we ended up in South Florida, and we stayed there for a long time. 14 years, in fact. And uh, a lot of my stories, a lot of the stories like the uh, CV Surgeon Gone Wild, a lot of stories I'll be telling you um, will be coming, well, we're, we're what we experienced in, uh, in South Florida because uh, things were so crazy. I mean, it was fun. It was a really fun place to work. But things were so crazy there that you just can't make this stuff up. Um, yeah. And uh, so we did, uh, we did that. And then we moved back to Minnesota. And I've uh, been at the place that I am at now since 2006. Uh, nine years, going on nine years. Seems like, seems like it was just yesterday when we came here. But anyway, what I do right now, uh, when I first started there, or when I first started at this place, I uh, worked in their CVICU. And a year and a half ago, I took a new position. And I work in an enhanced critical care unit, which enhanced critical care is like uh, virtual medicine, telemedicine. What we do is we have two nurses and a doctor that sit basically sit in a control room with a bunch of computers, and we have uh, several hospitals that are part of the health system, and we are basically air traffic control 
for several ICUs. It's a lot of fun. If you like computers, you really like that job. And uh, if you're really strong clinically, you really enjoy getting into the nitty gritty of what's going on without actually having to do it. And the relationship we have with the intensivists uh, at this, in this place is pretty unique. It's pretty awesome. I still work in the ICU about 25% of the time though. So I'm, I'm still, still getting out there, still touching patients. So I can maintain my street cred. And um, yeah, I like it. I, I, and I like taking care of patients about that amount, of, that amount of time because when I go out there, I'm the best nurse they've ever had because my batteries are completely recharged. I mean, I can take care of the, the type of patient that would try the patience of anybody else and I have all the patience in the world because I don't do it very much. And um, like I said, my batteries are recharged and I am not burnt out in the least when I go out there to take care of patients. So that's, like I said, it's about 25% of the time. Perfect balance. So I'll tell you a little bit more about that too as we roll on with these videos. So anyway, like I said, Thank you to all 124 of you who have subscribed. I hope more of you subscribe. Get, get some comments don't, going down in the comment section. And uh, yeah, so please rate this video and leave a comment below. If you like this video, share it with your friends. In fact, share it with your friends even if you think it sucks. Hit the subscribe button up there and join us as a passenger on the Keep It Real RN Express. And until next time, keep it real.